Thank you, Madam Chair and Madam Vice Chair and the committee members. So I'm getting the list. And so for the record, I'm a delegate Chao of District 9A. I'm here to propose an alternation to the BO post-college and career writing pathway cost to students. Under the current policy, high school students are not required to pay for college and career readiness tests and fees, and these costs are covered by schools. This policy was Im implemented with the intention of removing financial barriers, encouraging students to register for as many CCR tests as they desire. However, this well-meaning policy has inevitably placed a significant financial cost to the school system, compelling them to divert funds from other equally important programs. One example is from Howard County Public School System, who spent more than half a million dollars on these fees last year alone. We believe it will keep growing as most of them take more tests. We propose a very slightly policy revision, moving away from the state level, one size fits all approach of offering free tests to all students. Instead, we advocate for delegating the decision-making power to local education agencies. This change will hold LEA accountable who are working on the ground and have a great understanding of their student body and can thus make a more informed decision. By allowing schools the discretion to determine which students are eligible for free tests, we can ensure a more equitable distribution of resources tailored to the specific needs of each student. I don't believe school system should subsidize wealthy families on these test fees. While having discussion with different stakeholders, we understand there is still some uncertainty in the language by removing that line. So we are amended with a clear language such that LEA are responsible to cover students' fees with, from families with less uh, income. This proposed change is not merely a financial decision. It is a step toward reducing inequality with our education system. Under the current policy, disparity arises as, as some students may register as many uh, tests as possible, leading to a disproportionate cost shouldered by the school system. This scenario creates an intended inequality, contradicting the echoes of providing equal education opportunity for all our students. Our proposed bill aims to eliminate these disparities, ensuring that resources are allocated more judicially and equitably. Thank you. I'm looking forward to a favorable report.